Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and the Classic Mini Mayfair. So in this episode, we're going to crack on a little bit more welding on the car. So in the last episode, you left us with the scuffle panel, all nice and fixed to the car, the bonnet basically where it should be. Um, since then, James has visited and he's chuffed with the progress so far, which has made me happy and that means we can crap, carry on and move forward. So in this episode, um, it's an episode I wasn't really gonna film, I was just gonna get it done and then bring you guys back in. But you all did say that you can't, there's quite a few people wanted to see me do the uh, closing panels. So that's not a problem, I'll crack on and do that for you. But you know in Simpsons classic tradition, we're gonna put some cavity paint in. So there's a few ways of welding them on. It doesn't really matter in my eyes how you put them on. Um, the lungs are in there and the water tight and that is all the main thing is. Um, it locks up this corner, stops any water getting inside the car um, and it allows you to put the wings on knowing that everything's secure. So let's crack on and let's get that done in today's episode. Also guys, please go check out our sponsors, Minivine. They're a fantastic classic mini company based in Stoke-on-Trent in the UK. They're a massive, massive part of this channel. They are working away in the background and they're massively helpful in the sense that you can get anything you want. So in the discount code that is running along the screen now, go check them out because on their eBay shop, you can get 10% off your next purchase when you spend 15 pound or more. If you do get the time and you're passing Stoke and Trent, pop in and say hi, grab some parts. They're a cracking company, beautiful restorations, and I hope to be doing more of them in the future. While we're on that subject, Frost Restoration. So, Frost Restoration are also a sponsor of this channel. Please go check them out. There's a discount code in the description below to get all your tools and consumables for your workshop. So, Scuttle Closer Panel. These are being these being heritage. They're absolutely great quality. I've taken the sticks off the back as you always should do. These basically sit up underneath your scuttle. So, this is the one for this side. So, we plonk that there. And then we've got, obviously, the exact mirror of the other side. So, we'll get this fitted up on here. It basically sits nice and tight up inside that right there. If we can get it to sit tight, there we go. It'll probably hold its own because it's a heritage panel. There you go. It just sits up there. Obviously it needs a bit more fettling. It needs to come up a little bit there. But you can see now that forms the closing part, which when you look inside a mini wing, that's what you see. You see that finishing part that stops all the water ingress inside your car. My way of fitting this is Little stitches along the back there, along there, and then just join it on there. It doesn't have to be mad, but it does add a lot more structure back into your car. Um, all the little joins and everything like that, obviously get seam sealed up inside there before I even think about thinking that. But before we do this, you know what's happening, don't you? You know what's happening. We're gonna start painting. So let's go and get some white paint out, get some zinc primer on there first, the white paint on top, and get this panel ready to go into there. All right, so there's a zinc coating that's on it now. We'll let that flash off, but it is, I think I've just checked my phone, it's four degrees and it's not much warmer in the shop today. So, <laughs> um, We'll get that flash off, like I say, then we'll hit it with just some sort of top coat. Um, you know me, probably be white to match the car. Um, but it really doesn't matter what you put on it. You don't even have to put anything on it. Um, the zinc primer will be enough if you really want to. I've seen loads of people do it this way. For me, I just like the extra layer of protection. Um, obviously, around the edges and stuff where I'm going to weld, that will get cleaned. But where you cannot see it again, um, it's worth just getting another coat on it in my eyes. So while that flashes off, what I'm going to do is back on the car is just up inside all of these apertures. I'm going to get the um, seam sealer out and just seam seal all the way inside here, just so I know it is how it should be and it's protected from the elements. Because at the end of the day, little Eve needs to be back on the road and let's face it, everyone wants their minis to last. I mean, they rust for fun anyway, but let's give them a fighting chance. Also guys, I'm actually testing some merchandise at the moment so if anyone is interested in some merch we will be trying to get this launched into the new year um, we're gonna have t-shirts hoodies bits and pieces like that but this is the mug with our classic style logo on it and yeah i mean i need another brew it's nearly finished but 
What do you all think? It's absolutely mad to see something with my name on it. So I'm buzzing with that. I'm gonna enjoy this. Right, first of all, let's introduce the new safety gear. So, I've actually got a well through jacket. I'm sick of getting burnt. Um, so, um, Mrs. Simpsons branded it, which I'm buzzing about. So, we're gonna get these scuttle closer panels in now. So, as you can see, they're nicely painted. Um, I do this kind of thing. If you follow Simpsons Classics 4, you know I like a bit of cavity paint. So, on the back edge there, that's still primer. So, obviously, that's gonna be welded to the car. Um, and then the underside, I've done absolutely nothing with it yet because we can get to all that. Um, but basically, let's get this clamped up into the car, get the welder back out, and let's get going with it. So what I have done is I've seam sealed up inside here, uh, you probably saw earlier on, and then I put some white paint over it, but it's so damn cold in here, <laughs> it's run down everywhere, so I just have to clean that back when I start welding. So let us get it clamped in, then we can prep this area up here, and then we can get going with it. Right, so what I've done is a little stitch and a little stitch. It's obviously rock solid, it's in there. And then we've done a stitch in there. Can't quite see it. There's a stitch there as well, which you can see. And then a stitch there. So that is now as it should be. What I'll do is I'll repeat the same on the other side. But yeah, that's literally all I do. Um, there's a couple of plug welds along the top, uh, which are already factory into this panel. And then basically, as long as this is a nice ledge for the wing to sit on, you can play around with this at a later date. That's what I found anyway. So don't go mental, just get them in, get it secure, um, and then we'll work around. So I'll set you guys up on the next side um, when we get that all put in.
right, just gonna enjoy a brew. Oh my cool new mugs. Yes, I can put it on the roof because we're painting it. Um, yeah, all sorted. Pretty happy at that. Um, so when the wing sits on there, we can dress that back as much as we need, but that is literally how I've always done them. Stitch, 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 a couple of stitches, job done. So basically all that aperture in there is now completely solid. Um, obviously all of this will get seam sealer, all of there will get seam sealer before the wing goes on. Um, but that's the way I've always done it, the red issues. There's many ways you can do it. You could probably put sp sp uh, spot welds there, but if you actually have stripped a car before, there's just a little tack each bit. Um, and then the, the series spot welds, but obviously trying to get a spot welder over this hole. <laughs> it's never, my spot welder's never gonna do that. So I've always done it this way. Um, spot welder is actually something I want to look into, get a, a better one because um, the more and more projects that we have kicking around, it would be handy. Um, so, that's a job done. Right, what shall we have a look at next? Shall we get the, um, try the wings on again? Let's try the wings on. And the wing, and uh, let's just try it outside. That's a good sign. <laughs> Right, let's just shift this out of the way. Right, so what I've just done there has made absolutely no difference to the top of there, which is what you want. Obviously the wing sits on top of that there. Uh, but yeah, it um, fits relatively well, this wing. So let's just get a small clamp up on it here. Hold that there. Get a better clamp on it, that one's rubbish. All right, so, I'll bring you guys in. Probably easier to have a look. So on here, we've obviously got not the best of gaps, but when you kind of play around with this a little bit, so that will go straight in like that, and now you can see, that's a really nice, really nice gap. It's, it's nice and flush all the way along there. Um, and the body gap obviously is quite tight. That's not where it's gonna live. But I just wanted to prove to you by doing it that, that way, the wing still fits lovely. But that is literally just plonked on. Um, obviously that gets pulled in a bit there. And then we've just got to work it out really now. So in the next episode, we're obviously gonna crack on with getting it looking like Little Weave again, and uh, looking like a mini. But you can see by doing all the underpinnings, the scuttle, getting the bonnet relatively in the right place, putting the closers in, all of that structural work is now done. Um, and now you can look at making the appearance of the car right. Um, so front panel is where it's gonna be. It, it solely mount, you know, mounts there and there on the subframe. That's where it's gonna be. Um, the finishing place for it on the inner wings is obviously now up to me and where I want it to sit. Uh, the biggest issue we have got, like I have mentioned, is the car is previously accident damaged. And you can see daylight through there. So basically what I need to do is make sure I can pull all of this, all of this party and charade all together. Um, I don't think it's gonna be too hard. Uh, it's just gonna have to be a case of getting the gaps as best as I possibly can, um, and then moving on from there. But let's, here's hoping, eh? Not a bad, not a bad quick job to do that. And it's obviously, like I say, the underpinning's done. So guys, that brings this quick video to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Like I say, I wasn't gonna film this, but quite a few of you in the comments said, can I see how you do the closing panels? Like I say, I don't ever in this channel say I'm professional at any of this. This is just how I've always done it. Um, this is how it works for me. Um, sorry, quick, quick sip of the brew. It is literally, I think, three degrees down here. Um, it's cold, so we need to get some space heaters in here. Uh, <laughs> but is that the point now? with the car, like I say, stitch welded in, seam sealed after that, all the paint that we'll get underneath the car, it's gonna be protected. And knowing that there's a good layer of paint on the inside of the scuttle and the inside of the closer panel, for me, I can sleep at night. So the next job is to get the front end fitted. So we've got two wings, two A panels to get on the car. Then really the car will really, really be taking shape. Once we're onto that, then we'll work out where we go next with the car. Um, 
While I'm on that subject, what would you like to see on the car? Would you like me to carry on down the sills, work my way around to the back, or is there an aspect of this vehicle you would like to see that you've not seen on other builds that we do? I'm more than happy to help. Like I say, I wasn't gonna do this video, but some people want to see it, so I'm, I'm here to help you guys. Uh, so let's crack on. So catch you in the next one, guys. Please look after yourselves. Keep an eye out on Simpsons Classics in the next few weeks, month, hopefully, less than that. Um, we are trying to launch some merch and things like that. Um, we have worked on audio. Um, James has given me an early Christmas present and there's actually a microphone, I think, attached to this camera. So, okay, we're in a workshop, it's quite echoey, but I'm hoping it's helping the audio a little bit. So please just comment away if that's better. Um, we'll do my best. I'm a man in a garage as normal. Catch you next one, guys. Look after yourselves when we actually make this car look like a car in the next episode.